Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, November 5th, 2008. This morning I'm going to continue going through some of the VW widgets. We'll go back to the palette here and pick the radio button. Now the radio button is a little different than the other ones, and to demonstrate this I'm going to have to drop two of them. Now there's a couple different ways I can do that. I can drop the one, go back and pick it up again, but let me just delete that and show you a simpler way. So I select the radio button, and then what I do is I select this up here. Notice it says Sticky Select, and this changes to Sticky On. What that means is that I'm going to keep dropping radio buttons until I want to stop dropping radio buttons. So you see how it keeps giving me radio buttons? If I want to turn that off, I go up here. So now I have two radio buttons. Let's go into the property settings and take a look at how those work. So if I select the first one, I'll just call this option one, and we'll go down to aspect. Now here is where things are a little different than the ones we worked with previously. Aspect is where the data will be stored. We want to have the same storage for both radio buttons, so I'll call this option value, and we'll say this is option one, and we'll give it an ID of option one as well. Now let's go to the second one before I go through other properties. We'll call this option two, and we'll give it the same aspect, option value, and we'll call this select option two and give it the property, option two. Now, having set that, let's go through and look at some of the other pro possibilities. Under details, looks very much like the checkbox. Position, again, same thing. Fly by help, again, same thing. And validation and notification, you're gonna set exactly the same way you did for the checkbox. Color is no different, and there's no drop target or drop value here. So, the important thing to keep in mind for the radio button is the difference here. Now let's deselect everything. We'll go ahead and we'll install this. And then we'll go ahead and define things. Notice we come up only with one new thing to define, option value. And now let's go ahead and browse the class. And taking a look at that, you can see I've now got a new thing, option value, which is nil as value. And if I wanted to have option one selected, what I would do is I would just change this to option one like that. Notice I made it a symbol because that's what it was in the field that I typed. Let's move that out of the way and we'll open this up. You notice it then gave me option one selected because I had preset that field. So if I select here, I now get the other value. So that's basically all there is to radio buttons. One thing I'll go through while I'm here though, since I put in two of these things, let's go ahead and select both these fields. And if you want to do some simple layout options, you can come up here and go to this tool, the palette, and select some things here. Like let's say I want them all aligned to the left, or I want them all aligned to the right, or aligned to the center. You can do those kinds of things here. I can distribute them vertically. I could distribute them vertically this way, get some spacing. So there are things you can do if you select multiple widgets. And if I go here and select the other two, I can do the same thing. I can select all of them to line up left. I can distribute them horizontally, like vertically rather, like this. So you see that you have various options this way. That won't stick all that well as I resize the window. I'd have to give relative layouts to them to do that, but it gives you an idea of what's possible. So anyway, that's pretty much it on radio buttons. I think we've covered enough for today. So until next time, have fun with small talk.